Hey everyone, we are Mishap and Amethyst Hikes, and today we're going to be talking about our cook system and food bags we'll be taking with us on the Appalachian Trail. Okay, so for our cook system, we went with the Tokes Titanium Pots. We started with the 1100, which has the bale handle, and then also got the 550 for myself so that I had a separate um, cup for drinking out of. Both of those come with the insulated koozie. We don't really use this one because we kind of stopped using this one. Um, what we found on the trail it was that we didn't really use it hardly at all. Um, we mostly use it uh, to rehydrate our food and not actually cook in the pots themselves. Really all we do is heat water for cooking, heat water for coffee, and we just share cups. It just didn't make sense to dirty up a second cup and then it didn't make sense to carry a second cup. So we don't really use this one now. We also got the Tokes Titanium Sporks. We went with the BRS Ultralight Titanium Stove. It's under 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, it's very lightweight, very efficient for us. We only heat water for the most part. We never cook in our pots, so we didn't really need anything more powerful than this. And for the weight, really can't beat it. We use the smaller 100 fuel canister. Um, largely because it actually fits directly into the 550 pot and nests. And then we can actually drop the 550 into the 1100 and then the rest of it fits in. And then we also use a uh, bandana for wiping out the pot, drying it out in between uses. So all of it just packs right in together. It holds the uh, stove secure so that it's not rattling around and getting damaged and then drop it down into the koozie. So we ordered our food bags through Hilltop Packs because you can do a custom logo. Amethyst created both of these bags and we ultimately chose this one to be our channel logo. So inside the bag we have the hang kit, which we purchased from Light AF. And inside the hang kit, it comes with the string to be able to hang the bag. and the stick. We got the cook pot that has a bale handle, specifically because we wanted to be able to occasionally cook over the campfire. I love having a campfire in the evening, especially on cool nights. This frees us up from having to use a fuel canister as frequently as well. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing to follow us on our future adventures. See you on the next one. Bye bye.
All right, I'm gonna demonstrate how to hang, how we hang our bear bag. So, it takes a rock that you'll put in the bag, the stick, and a rope. So you gotta attach the rock bag to the string. And then stick the bag back through itself there, like that. I usually try to find a limb that's where I can hang it up about 10 feet and keep it about six or eight feet away from the tree. So good. Good enough. Go ahead and pull your bear bag back through. And you can remove the rock. You just roll the top down. I try to get about a good three in, three rolls. Okay. All right. Then you just take the carabiner, hook it on your rope, take your other piece of rope, hook it on the carabiner like so, then you pull it up. I usually try to pop, pull mine up as high as I can towards the branch before I hook it. About right there. Then you reach up here and you take the stick that comes with it. Or any stick that you find yeah. on the ground. You wrap the rope around the stick like that. And then on this side, you make a loop like this and stick it on there. And then you let it down and it'll catch on the carabiner.